Hey, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I'm making a classic New Year's Day dinner, pork and sauerkraut. Today I'm using a boneless pork pot roast from Logan Family Farms in Irwin, Pennsylvania. The owner told me that this was going to be even more tender than a traditional pork shoulder or butt that I might buy at the grocery store. And I said, sign me up because that sounded so incredible. Look at all that delicious marbling. All that fat means it's gonna have tons and tons of flavor. This recipe for crock pot pork and sauerkraut is the way that my mother-in-law traditionally prepares it. So she incorporates apples and onions, a little bit of brown sugar in with her pork. Typically she'll cook a really garlicky kielbasa sausage along with hot dogs, but she's also made pork loin and pork shoulder in the same way. And the meat just ends up falling apart and is super flavorful. So here I have two gala apples, which I peeled and then I'm just dicing up. You can also slice these. In the end, they're just gonna kind of fall apart and disintegrate in with everything else and just add this nice, subtle sweetness in the background. And then I'm also gonna chop up one large sweet onion into really thin slices. For this recipe, I'm using a two pound bag of sauerkraut, which is just a fermented cabbage. So it adds this really nice, tangy, vinegary flavor, and you're also getting your vegetables. I always like to spray the inside of my slow cooker with a little bit of baking spray, just so that nothing sticks to the edges. And then I'm adding my beautiful pork pot roast. I decided to season this with a sprinkling of salt, black pepper, and some garlic powder because I really do like that garlicky flavor of the kielbasa my mother-in-law typically uses, so I wanted to mimic that in this dish. And then I took my big bag of sauerkraut and dumped it all over top of the meat, including the liquids. Next, I scattered the thinly sliced sweet onions and apples all over the top. And lastly, I took about one tablespoon of light brown sugar and sprinkled it all over the top. And that's it. So I grabbed my cover and put it on top and I set my crock pot for eight hours. This is gonna cook low and slow for all that fat to break down and the meat to get super juicy and tender. And of course it will be on low heat. Eight hours later and this incredible pork pot roast was ready to go. You can see I dug right in with my forks and the meat just fell apart. I couldn't have asked for better results. Look at how incredible that looks. Oh, I was so excited to eat. As I shredded up the pork, I used my forks to mix the apples and the cabbage and onion so it was all evenly combined. This pork and sauerkraut looked and smelled absolutely amazing. So this ridiculously tender pork pot roast cooked for eight hours, it is falling apart. It shredded so easily just with two forks inside of my crock pot. And now I get to give it a taste. You can get a little sauerkraut and the apples on here too. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did not used to like sauerkraut growing up, but I love it now. It just adds that kind of vinegary kick in the background. And then you've got a little bit of sweetness from the apples and the brown sugar, but nothing overwhelming. It has so much flavor. It's absolutely delicious. Now, obviously I'm just eating this plain, but I think tonight we're gonna make sandwiches out of this on fresh buns. You can serve this over creamy mashed potatoes or egg noodles, whatever sounds good to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like today's recipe. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen. Happy New Year, and I'll see you next year with another family recipe. To learn more about their incredible pork products and dry aged beef, visit the Logan Family Farms website, which I'll link in my description box below.